Everybody's been wanting to see the Atlanta Colts play as they are one of the top ranked teams in 12 and under division. And this is why with that unconventional offense as a Georgia thoroughbred and South Lamette run it as well. Then you see him on defense, they're getting after the ball. Nice quarterback sack there, as number 55 gets in the backfield. Then on offense with the fumble, Ruski again, you see that even the cameraman could not keep up with the play as number 34 gets down into the red zone, gets down to about the five yard line. Then on the next play, number 25 goes ahead and pushes on in as the Atlanta Colts are now up with a convincing lead. Then you see right here on the next play, they go bootleg to the outside, number 34, a great way to stay home and get the quarterback sack. Later on the game with the Colts up 14 to zero, you see the Mount Carmel back up and let loose and he gets behind the safety as receiver number three gets into the end zone for a 53 yard touchdown pass. Now with Mount Carmel back down on the goal line, they figure they can go ahead and run it in, but you have big number 55 playing the D line well again and stops them on fourth and short. Then with the chance to score again and put the game away, the Atlanta Colts give it to number 20 with that unconventional offense again, which gives them the win, 30-7. Hey, we, we were worried about Mount Carmel. They looked really good. They've had a great season. I expect to see them again in the playoffs. Those guys play great. Uh, we worked real hard the last few weeks, and uh, hey, it starts up front with the big uglies, right? Yeah. Big uglies. And the backfield worked hard running the ball, so we're real proud of our boys. Boys, you beat